I thought I'd tried every mouse pad surface to find one that made me aim at my best. But maybe ceramic was what I'd been missing all along. Let's find out with the TJ Exclusives Serapad. Gamers nowadays are looking at every possible way to find a competitive advantage. Using a $200 magnesium forged tool of the gods to get a near weightless mouse, spending your parents' college fund on an RTX 30 series for 500 FPS in Valorant, and of course, let's not forget injecting G Fuel directly into your main arteries. One area that's often overlooked is the surface that you're playing on, and a good mouse pad can have just as much of an impact as any other upgrade in your setup. So what's the best mouse pad you can buy then? Well, sadly, it's not as easy as me telling you one single option, it's gonna come down largely to personal preference. However, TJ Exclusives, a US-based startup, hope they have the answer for at least some of you with the world's only production ceramic mouse pad, the Serapad. Jacob, one of the owners of TJ Exclusives, is a ceramics engineer and machinist by trade, but first and foremost, he calls himself a gamer. The Serapad is a result of a year's worth of research and prototyping to bring his professional craft and passion for gaming together to deliver something that's unique and hopefully game-changing for competitive aim. They sent me both an early prototype and the final retail release, and after spending some time with them, I'm here to tell you my first impressions. The Serapad ships in a padded pizza box, not unlike the Skypad 2.0, but it did arrive in perfect condition. The pad itself is made up of a four millimeter piece of tempered glass with a laminated aluminum sheet on the back end and some rubber feet to stop it slipping around. The top play surface is coated in a ceramic glaze and then baked in a high temperature oven, which I'm told gives it the uniform finish and high levels of durability. Jacob tells me this is the same process that they use for ceramic coating firearms, so I can only hope it makes my aim just as lethal. Holding the Serapad for the first time, I was instantly reminded of the glass Skypad, but as soon as I placed my mouse on the ceramic surface, this is where the similarities ended. The Serapad is an incredibly smooth surface with an almost satin sheen to it. It's unlike anything I've used before, feeling both incredibly responsive and having very little static friction, whilst at the same time retaining a great deal of kinetic friction so I didn't lose control in gameplay. This high level of kinetic friction translated to a greater sense of control on flick shots, which I don't typically have on hard pads and instead would use a slower cloth control surface for. It's hard to communicate what it feels like to play on, but I described it to a friend as feeling like a magnet under the mouse pad that always wanted to snap my aim down on the target. I have to say there were a fair few Jesus take the wheel moments where I landed a wild reaction shot that I would typically have no hope of nailing on another surface. At the same time, the characteristic low static friction of hard pads was still absolutely there, which made micro adjustments relatively effortless. And I didn't get the juddery feeling I sometimes experience when trying to use a muddier cloth pad like the SteelSeries QCK or the Zowie GSR. One of the biggest gripes I'd had with in particular glass as a hard surface was how any hairs or dust on the surface would grind and grate under the mouse if you ran over it. But the ceramic pad was quite forgiving in this space. I don't think I experienced this once on the ceramic pad and whilst it is hard and durable, it seems much more forgiving to play on, in particular for hairs and dust. I never noticed it getting too hot or cold or sticky on my forearm in the way that I did on the Skypad 2.0, but I had to use a sleeve on my forearm to get the best results. I also tested the Serapad across various my sizes, shapes and weights and found the glide profile to be consistent regardless of the weight or skate shape. I really appreciate this consistency because it isn't always the case, in particular with cloth pads where thickness, backing or weave can make various mice perform very differently even on the same pad. I also tried out PTFE versus glass and ceramic and whilst you can use glass or ceramic, I really felt quite out of control when using that on the Serapad and I was worried it might cause damage to the surface in the long run, so I'd probably suggest sticking with PTFE if you go for this pad. All this is good in theory, but how does it translate into gaming performance? Now I'm pleased to tell you that this pad felt natural very quickly. As someone who mostly uses slow control pads, I was able to pick up where I left off without any negative impact. In fact, I saw improvements in accuracy almost immediately. Tracking was smoother, I landed more flick shots, and I was playing with a confidence that was well above what my old man dad gamer skills should offer me. The only major limitation I felt on the current product was the size of the play space, but this was more of a factor on some games than others. Valorant or Counter-Strike, I didn't notice the play space as a limiting factor. Moving over to Destiny 2 or Overwatch, I consistently found that I was running out of play space trying to spin to flash the Genji or Tracer that blinked behind me on Cassidy. I did ask TJ Exclusives if they plan to go bigger or if the current size is as big as they can go, and fortunately they said that 
Since moving to a tempered glass core, we can absolutely make the pad larger. We're already looking at 450 by 400 millimeters as an XL size and a custom order option for people who want specific dimensions between the standard and new XL sizes. There's also two more color options on the way, which will be available as early as April and the potential for even more customization down the road if the community supports the product well enough. Now the Serapad performed really well in game, but I think where it has its secret weapon is in aim trainers. I typically use Kovax or Aimlab to assess new mice and pads as part of my testing process, but the results in the Serapad were unlike anything I've ever experienced before. I appreciate I am gushing on this product, but I don't often get to flex. Earlier this week, I posted a screenshot of a regular Aimlabs task that I use, where I managed to get a top score 20% above my average using the Serapad. As stoked as I was to do this, unfortunately, I wasn't able to repeat that level of performance gain again, but my averages were well above what they were on other pads across the board with the Serapad. I wanted to see if maybe just swapping to a hard pad had been the thing that had had the effect, so I grabbed as many other hard pads from my collection as possible for a bit of a shootout between them. I tested the Glorious Elements Air, the Skypad 2.0 XL, the Razer Invicta, and the X-Ray Pad Thunder X. Whilst the gameplay experience on each of these was pretty close to the Serapad, for whatever reason I wasn't able to repeat the performance and scores I was putting out on the ceramic surface. The Skypad has slightly less stopping power, the Glorious Air lacked the feedback that I needed, and the Razer Invicta is outdated and uncomfortable to use. The X-Ray Pad Thunder X was about the closest in terms of feel, but annoyingly, no matter how much I tried, I couldn't match the scores that I was able to achieve on the Serapad. Now, before you all rush out and order one, this is massively anecdotal. It is my experience in super limited testing over a week or so. Being said, if you are a competitive aimer, I think this is a product that you should definitely at least be keeping an eye on to see if a trend starts to emerge with other players as they start to use it. Lastly, it being a US made product, the Serapad is probably only really applicable to a domestic US audience with international shipping costs as high as $60. Putting those two points aside and summarizing the video, I am really impressed with this product. When TJ Exclusives reached out for the review, I genuinely expected this to be a gimmick product that I didn't get on with, but the Serapad has stun knocked me at every objection that I threw at it. I said it was too small, they're making a larger version, I find hard pads too fast, this one had stopping power, I have shaky dad aim, this pad comes with a built-in aimbot apparently. Honestly, I'm as keen as yourselves to see other reviewers get hold of this pad because it could absolutely just be me that this pad has had this effect on. But if not, and other people have the same results that I had, we might just have a new ceramic kid on the block in the competitive aim scene. So, interesting pad, what did you Think of it, are you gonna try out the Serapad? What's your aimbot of choice in the pad space? Leave a comment down below, share it with the community, and remember, if it's not good enough, I'll keep you informed. So get subscribed, and I'll catch you in the next.